Hey guys, Marcelling in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today I've got something off a bit of a random theme team battle. It's something that I'd actually had on paper in my notes so to speak since around the time I started my channel and I was thinking of some interesting themes to do. It was before the Super Saiyan 3 category even existed, well it was before categories even existed. Uh, this Super Saiyan 3 Goku from the barbershop, uh, he obviously awakens from the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku that costs 777 green gems. Uh, his leader skill is strength and physical types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30%. And I realized that this was around that time there was literally just enough units that if you had all of them you could make a full STR and physical Super Saiyan 3 team. And uh, then I kind of completely forgot about it. And then after the news earlier today with the Strength Super Saiyan 3 Goku EZA, I was looking at my copy to check uh, how many dupes I had and what super attack level he was and things like that. And for some reason I just remembered that team idea because originally he was going to be on it because he was one of the only Strength or Physical Super Saiyan 3s available at the time. Uh, this is obviously before we got the... Uh, physical support one that you see in the bottom right who is a better fit for the team for me because my STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is SA1 with no orbs in him whereas the support one not only is a good supporter but is a rainbow so I decided that we take the team out for a spin and see if we could actually take on a well sort of current Dokkan event obviously with a 30% leader skill we don't want to take on something too hard so we are taking on the Kid Boo event. Obviously he is a 120 lead, so the event could prove slightly tough, but the final stage is physical, so we are at least going to have type advantage. And a big shout out to Jay Fanta uh, for... I knew if somebody had uh, this Goku from the barbershop with some decent orb investment, it would be him. And uh, he of course has him at Rainbow Star, so he is the friend leader. We'll definitely keep him as one of our main units and then the STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta will be the other main rotation unit since he is an amazing tank. So yeah, getting a crit for almost one health bar, not not the worst, but still took around 20k. What are we going to take from a super attack? Oh, 86, wow, okay. So the team... Definitely not the uh, sturdiest with uh, such a low level leader skill. Uh, oh, the last Goku did get the stun. So that's a good. That's the other thing. There are a couple of units on this team that are able to stun. And uh, the... Hmm, I need one orb. Oh, that works perfectly. Okay, let's do this. Yes, yeah, so there are a couple of units on the team that are able to stun, being the two... Angel Goku's uh, leads and the strength Super Saiyan 3 of Vegeta. I guess I don't really need to say Super Saiyan 3, do I? Because they are all Super Saiyan 3. So, uh, well, he is stunned. I'm going to need to heal, but I don't need to do it right now. So, let's see. We should be able to finish him off. With the Gotenks 11 key, we should finish him off this turn, I imagine. Because Gotenks is such a beast. Mine has two dupes. I think even on this low level, yeah. Even on this low leader skill level, he's just going to come in and crit for a million damage. So that is what we like to see. I think the only the only phase that we are going to struggle with then it seems is going to be the uh, going to be the physical kid boo stage where he just spams super attacks at you. So okay, let's do this. So you're going to need to heal. Goku's going to get hit at the front here and then Vegeta's just going to tank those other two so as long as we don't get unlucky and catch a super attack in that first slot I feel like we should be okay of course the Goku does have the chance to stun which RNG could play quite a significant role in uh, completing this run because if we can get stuns off yes just like that if we can get stuns off as regularly as possible then we definitely stand a much better chance of success. And two crits as well. There you go. J Fanta's Rainbow Star physical Angel Goku coming in clutch there. And then Vegeta, obviously not there to deal damage, but his tanking not particularly necessary this turn. And then, yeah, the physical Goku, unfortunately no crit. I did rainbow him just because 
He is such a good support unit on the actual Super Saiyan 3 team uh, because of the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He provides him extra key as well as the over in a flash link. So I thought since he is a staple on my Super Saiyan 3 team for that reason that it would be a good idea to rainbow him. So I believe yeah he is in fact the only rainbow unit on the team. I have all the paths open for the STR kid support Goku great 8 one and of course the Broly because he's free to play but haven't invested a ton of orbs into them they obviously do have some of their abilities I think the Broly might be around 50% um, not sure about the ape Goku I suppose this is one of those events where because we are at a little bit of a disadvantage I'm not completely opposed to the idea of him transforming and uh, it looks like we kept him stunned so We've got the uh, a bit of the stun lock going on. That's uh, that is definitely going to work out in our favour. So we need to see that next phase. So next phase we get to the super spam kid boo. So I'm going to definitely ghost usher that first turn, and then that's where we need to see a stun coming in for us. And we do have. Oh, we got. Go tanks. Unfortunately, because of the support Kid Boo, uh, sorry, support uh, Goku, we can't get the 11 key super. But that's fine. And then we have our Goku going second. So our Goku needs to get the stun. But then at least we do have Vegeta next turn. So let's see how we get on. If we get the stun, perfect. Uh, if we don't, we do at least have Vegeta next turn. I guess it depends how he's going to spread out his attacks. How much is Gotenks going to do here? Yeah, just over half a mil. That's not the worst. Can we get the stun with our Goku? My Goku has one dupe and has his bottom right filled out. Just because he was a unit that I liked using back in the day when he first got added uh, to the barber shop. He was one of the only super physical units that I had. And uh, so when he got his awakening, I uh, thought it was a pretty cool unit. I still think his art is a bit weird. I'm sure I've mentioned this way back when the Super Saiyan 3 category team came out. I did a showcase for him. Uh, I think his art is a little bit odd. That weird face that he's making. But uh, right, so we'll give you just give you those. Get those out of the way. So we got Vegeta's going to tank, and then Goku at the back has the type advantage. I don't feel like we need to use an item, but I also don't know. Type advantage is one thing, but with the constant super spam, I really don't know how much damage he's actually going to do to, especially that Goku at the end. Not too worried about the Vegeta, but yeah, tanking double digits, I... I would, um, I would almost assume that he would still tank double digits without the item active because that is how good of a tank he is normally but obviously normally you're not running him on a 30% leader skill team so not too sure how that would have panned out it's not giving me a chance to see all the symbols so I don't know if we did get the stun oh we did excellent so either Vegeta or Goku came through and got the stun uh, you almost feel a little bit bad for Super Saiyan 3 Broly. I wanted to put him on the team because I think the 3 to, free to play Super Saiyan 3 Broly is a very cool unit. And uh, I don't think he's had a single chance to actually attack yet. So, And um, with Gotenks getting the 11 key, he's probably not going to get a chance to attack this turn either. <laughs> yep. Okay, so moving on to the final stage, Int Kid Boo. So we have Type Advantage and we have the Tank... Vegeta. Hmm. Do we need an item here? I don't want to. I don't want it to all fall apart right at the end. So, actually, yeah. Let's just ghost the first turn. Because if we can get those clutch stuns in again, we uh, won't need to worry about how much damage he's going to deal. So Vegeta, see if that re that high chance to stun. I'm pretty sure I saw that stun symbol there. 
So Vegeta coming in clutch. One of the reasons why he's such a staple unit for completing super strength, super battle road. Not only tanks like an absolute boss, but has a high chance to stun. And then Goku, while and out getting another super attack. So <laughs> Go Kid Buu just having stunning super attacks spammed into his face. And then the support, Goku, tacking on a little bit of damage at the end. So can we get so we can get the 11 key but is there enough orbs here to get a dokon attack this turn if we grab those will that drop that orange down oh except of course now it's the uh, str goku that's picking up the orbs so oh we're so on the cusp of the dokon attack is this gonna yeah there you go so 11 key dokon attack for super saiyan 3 gotenks i'd have to imagine that that is going to be all she wrote boys so okay let's see how much damage this is going to do we got the support from the str goku is it 33 it's over 30 30 or 33 percent attack he gives everybody so getting a nice little buff on top of the lower than usual leader skill oh and a crit okay 1.9 million damage takes out kid boo so there you go just an interesting little team that i threw together uh, i don't know why i'd forgotten about it for so long because we had a couple of uh new Super Saiyan 3 units like that Goku. I almost put the physical Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, one of the new ones that we had that was global exclusive, because he also tanks uh, specifically against in, but unfortunately I already have the STR one with a lot more investment and they have the same name, so. But anyway, let me know what you think of the team guys, it's just a nice little fun category to run, uh, thought it'd be good for a bonus video today. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, slap a like and subscribe if you are new. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the Ningen or join my Discord. The link is in the description. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.